space is absolutely critical to national defense, and the criticality has only increased over time. Cape Canaveral Space Force Station is part of Space Launch Delta 45. A spectral visitor from deep space, Comet 3I Atlas, made an unexpected entrance, forcing the United States Space Force to dramatically alter a crucial launch window. Three, two, one, lift off. Stand by for first motion time. The sheer silent drama of this near miss is truly startling. This was no ordinary event. This object possessed an orbital eccentricity exceeding six, far more extreme than any prior interstellar arrival, making its path incredibly hard to track. The thing nobody tells you is the immense complexity of managing such a rogue traveler and the urgent unstated reasons behind the Space Force's swift, unexplained action. This shift hints at a larger, unsettling truth about our space vulnerabilities. Close Encounter in Orbit the discovery of 3I Atlas in July of 2025 sent waves through the astronomy community. Spotted by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, in Chile, this cosmic wanderer was immediately recognized as something special. Its trajectory was undeniably hyperbolic, meaning it was moving too fast to be gravitationally bound by our Sun. To put it mildly, it was just visiting, on its way through to parts unknown, an envoy from another star system. What many overlooked at first was its sheer breathtaking speed. This comet was hurtling through space at roughly 36 miles per second, an astonishing 130,000 miles per hour relative to the Sun. That's faster than both of the previous interstellar objects, 1i Oumuamua and 2i Borisov. This velocity alone presents a wow factor that is hard to grasp. Imagine anything moving so quickly it crosses the distance from New York City to Los Angeles in under one minute. This wasn't some slow-moving cosmic dust bunny. This was a bullet from the void. The most shocking fact is how little official reason was given for the launch window adjustment. Public statements simply acknowledged the change, but the why remained cloaked in the usual military discretion. This interstellar guest, named 3I Atlas, because it was the third interstellar object found by the Atlas system, offered a rare chance for scientists to study material from outside our own stellar nursery. Its closest approach to the Sun, or perihelion, was predicted for late October 2025, at a distance of about 126 million miles, putting it just inside the orbit of Mars. Crucially, experts had repeatedly stated that 3I Atlas posed no threat to Earth, with its closest predicted pass at about 170 million miles from our planet in December 2025. So, if there was no direct impact threat, why the sudden shift in a critical launch schedule? This is where the plot thickens and the whispers begin. Consider the orbital eccentricity of 3I Atlas, an astounding 6.141. To give you some context, orbits bound by a star, like those of our planets, have an eccentricity less than one. The more stretched out an orbit is, the higher its eccentricity, but typically still below one for bound objects. An eccentricity greater than one signifies an unbound, hyperbolic trajectory. 3I Atlas's value of over six makes its path appear almost straight, slicing through our solar system with a precision that defies easy prediction. This extreme eccentricity is another wow factor it highlights just how alien and unpredictable this visitor truly is, unlike anything native to our cosmic home. It's like trying to predict the path of a speeding bullet with the accuracy of a slow-moving cloud. The size of 3I Atlas added another layer of intrigue. Early observations by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope in July 2025 revealed a teardrop-shaped cloud of dust, or coma, surrounding its nucleus. Estimates for the comet's solid, icy core range from a quarter of a mile to three and a half miles in diameter. Even at the smaller end, a quarter mile wide object moving at such speeds would be a considerable hazard if it intersected any orbital path, let alone a precise launch corridor. This disparity in size estimates, though narrowed over time, initially highlighted the uncertainties inherent in tracking such distant, dynamic objects. 
the fact that an object of this magnitude, hurtling from beyond our solar system, could necessitate such a rapid, unexplained response from a powerful organization like the Space Force speaks volumes about the perceived threat, whether real or simply a matter of extreme caution. The sudden shift didn't just affect one launch. It sent ripples across a highly complex and synchronized system where launch windows are meticulously planned years in advance, often depending on orbital mechanics, international agreements, and a host of terrestrial factors. To alter such a schedule implies a compelling, urgent reason that, for some reason, could not be openly shared. This begs the question, was the initial assessment of no threat incomplete, or were there other undisclosed factors at play? The most shocking fact is not just that the launch window shifted, but the profound silence surrounding the exact reason. It leaves many to wonder if the truth is far more complex than a simple avoidance maneuver. Despite reassurances, the true implications of this cosmic encounter remained shrouded. Tracking the unknown. You see, the United States Space Force, and really the entire global space community, lives and breathes by what's called Space Domain Awareness, or SDA. This isn't just a fancy term. It's the ability to know what's in space, where it is, and where it's going. It's like air traffic control, but for everything orbiting our planet. And believe me, there's a lot up there. Currently, the Space Force's Space Surveillance Network tracks over 28,000 pieces of space junk larger than a softball, each one a potential orbital bullet. This constant vigil uses a complex web of ground-based radars and telescopes, along with space-based sensors like the Space-Based Space Surveillance, SBSS satellite, which orbits at an altitude of about 390 miles, giving it an unobstructed view of objects around Earth. Many people are crazy about space exploration, the cool new rockets, and amazing images from distant galaxies. But the thing nobody tells you is the immense challenge of simply keeping our orbital highways clear. Every single one of those 28,000 plus objects is a potential threat to the over 4,000 active satellites that provide everything from our GPS signals to weather forecasts and critical national defense capabilities. A tiny paint flake, traveling at orbital speeds of about 17,500 miles per hour in low Earth orbit, can hit with the force of a bowling ball at 60 miles per hour. That's a wow factor right there showing how even something seemingly harmless can cause catastrophic damage in space. The tracking of routine space debris, however, is a well-established, if challenging, science. We know the orbits of most satellites, active and defunct, and rocket bodies. We can predict potential collisions with remarkable accuracy, performing hundreds of collision avoidance maneuvers each year, even for the International Space Station. But 3I Atlas was different. It wasn't a piece of human-made junk. It was an interstellar comet, a natural object with a trajectory shaped by forces far beyond our immediate solar system, its path made even more complicated by its outgassing behavior, which can subtly alter its flight. The challenge intensified because 3, Iatlas's trajectory was not merely unbound, but extremely hyperbolic, meaning its path was almost linear as it passed through our system, this is vastly different from the elliptical orbits of planets, or even most comets, which typically originate from the Oort cloud, the vast shell of icy objects at the outermost reaches of our solar system, and follow more predictable paths. An object with an eccentricity of over six is an anomaly, a cosmic rogue that behaves in ways we are not accustomed to predicting. Its journey into our system was a rare event, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for science, but a potential nightmare for space traffic controllers. And you can see this everywhere, the growing concern about objects in space, from pieces of old rockets to fragments from anti-satellite tests conducted by various nations. The orbital environment is becoming increasingly crowded. This has led to concerns about the Kessler syndrome, a theoretical scenario where a cascade of collisions creates so much debris that parts of Earth's orbit become unusable. While 3 I Atlas was natural, its sudden, fast approach underscored the vulnerabilities of our orbital infrastructure to any unforeseen event, regardless of its origin. This event, many experts argue, was a stark reminder that our reliance on space assets demands an even more robust and transparent approach to space domain awareness. But even the best systems have limits, and what happens when those limits are pushed? What really caused the shift? 
So, if 3i Atlas wasn't going to impact Earth, and its trajectory was widely known, what really caused the Space Force to shift a crucial launch window? This is where the mystery deepens, and we must explore possibilities that go beyond the publicly stated no-threat assessments. To put it mildly, the official story might just be the tip of the iceberg. What many overlooked, or perhaps what wasn't immediately apparent, even to the most advanced tracking systems, were the subtle complexities of this interstellar visitor. One crucial detail about comets, especially those from interstellar space, is their unpredictable nature. Comets are essentially dirty snowballs, and as they approach the sun, their icy components heat up and vaporize, releasing gas and dust. This process, known as outgassing, forms the comet's glowing coma and tail. The kicker here is that this outgassing isn't always uniform or predictable. A sudden burst of activity, a powerful jet of gas, could act like a small thruster, slightly altering the comet's path or, more significantly, expanding its hazardous dust cloud. Imagine a cosmic smoke bomb, unpredictably increasing its size and obscuring its true path. Early observations of 3i Atlas showed an unusual aspect. Its dust tail, at least initially, appeared to be pointing towards the sun, rather than directly away from it, which is the typical behavior due to solar radiation pressure. This strange phenomenon was interpreted as an indication of very large, heavy dust particles being ejected. These particles, hundreds of microns across, are too weighty to be easily pushed away by sunlight. Instead, they would be influenced more by the comet's own momentum, creating a larger, less predictable debris field in its wake. A tiny speck of dust from such a large, fast-moving comet could still be a major problem for a delicate satellite or a rocket during launch. Then, there's the interaction with solar events. As the comet approached its perihelion, our sun continued its activity. One intriguing piece of information that surfaced around the same time was the prediction of a coronal mass ejection, or CME, from the Sun, potentially hitting 3i Atlas. While astronomers don't expect a CME to significantly alter a 3 billion ton comet's trajectory, such an event can have dramatic effects on its coma and tail. We've seen this before, in 2007, NASA's STEREO. A spacecraft observed Comet Enki's ion tail being completely ripped off by a CME. This kind of interaction could create an even more diffuse, yet expansive cloud of material around 3i Atlas, making a launch corridor potentially riskier than simple trajectory models suggested. The truth nobody tells you is that when dealing with objects moving at 42 miles per second, even a tiny shift in predicted debris fields or a larger than expected coma can make the difference between a safe passage and a catastrophic collision. A three and a half mile wide comet, if its outgassing creates a dust cloud extending for tens or hundreds of thousands of miles, presents a moving hazard zone that demands respect, especially when high value assets are involved. The Space Force's primary mission is to protect our space capabilities. It's plausible, therefore, that the decision to shift the launch window wasn't about avoiding the main body of 3i Atlas, but rather a perceived, albeit unstated, risk from its expansive, unpredictable cloud of expelled material, or an interaction with solar wind that could temporarily make tracking less precise. The answer might lie in the very fabric of how we perceive threats from beyond our world, orbital defense. The quiet redirection of that launch window wasn't just about one comet. It was a potent reminder of our deep, almost invisible reliance on space. Think about it. Our daily lives are woven into the fabric of orbital mechanics. GPS guides our cars and smartphones. Weather satellites forecast storms saving lives and property. Communication satellites connect continents. And national defense systems rely heavily on eyes and ears in orbit. All of this depends on a stable, predictable, and clear orbital environment. An event like 3i Atlas, an unannounced guest from interstellar space, throws a massive wrench into that predictability. You see, for decades, space agencies have focused heavily on tracking human-made space debris, and it's a huge problem. With more than 56,450 objects launched since 1961, and over 28,000 pieces larger than a softball still tracked, the risk of collisions is ever-present. This escalating threat has even led to concepts like the Kessler Syndrome, 
where a chain reaction of collisions could render entire orbital layers unusable. Organizations like SpaceWorks, the Space Force's innovation arm, are pouring millions of dollars into programs like Orbital Prime, funding companies to develop technologies for in-space servicing, assembly, and manufacturing. These efforts include active debris removal, essentially a cosmic cleanup crew. This is a wow factor that shows the scale of the challenge and the serious steps being taken to address it. But not all things are what they seem. While we focus on our own mess, celestial visitors like 3i Atlas represent an entirely different category of threat or opportunity. They don't follow our rules, they don't have predictable flight paths within our solar system, and their composition can be vastly different from anything we've studied. So, do you believe the full story about 3i Atlas has been told? Let us know, and don't forget to like and subscribe.